Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am doing a voiceover and narrating me putting the diamond painting on a canvas. This is the first time that I have tried this and I actually think it turned out pretty good. So let's get started. So I use an 11 by 14 canvas. The diamond painting was a 25 by 30 centimeters. I used Martha Stewart's gloss and I don't even know what color that is. I look on the can to try to figure out the color. It's rose something, I think. And uh, it worked really, really good. And I also used Aileen's Fast Grab Tacky Spray to spray on the back of the diamond painting canvas. Now, I thought I had the camera turned on when I spray painted the canvas. I did not. So you guys aren't going to see that step. You're going to see the canvas painted though. What I did was I took it outside, put it on a towel, sprayed all around the edge and about an inch in from the edge. I didn't cover the entire canvas only because um, I knew the diamond painting was going to cover most of the front of it. So here I'm getting ready to cut off the border because I want it right up against the diamonds, right? And I start off with a box cutter and this, but I quickly just use a pair of scissors because the scissors would be much more convenient. And unfortunately, a couple times in this video, you see a close up of my sweatshirt or my skin, my arm. It actually is really hard to, for me to perfect the camera angle. I'm still working on that obviously, but I'm hoping you get the general idea of what to do. So I grab a pair of scissors and I take my time with this. Remember, there is like a sticky border right up against the diamond. So I am cutting as close as I can without cutting into the diamonds. And I just take my time. So I'm actually going to fast forward this part a little bit because that's all you see me do. You see me cut. Let's fast forward it a little bit. And what I'm doing too, after I cut the, I am pressing right here, the diamonds on the edge in with my finger because I want them to be perfectly straight or as straight as they possibly can be. So that's what I am doing as well. I'm pressing them in with my finger. And here's a shot where you see my sweatshirt. So let's fast forward through that. Make this a little bit quicker. Okay, so when I get to the edge, and I messed up a little bit there, so I just cut that little bit off. Now it is time to adhere the canvas, the diamond painting to the canvas. So I bought a big box of latex gloves. I think I did a pretty good job cutting off the border though. But you can see that there is still like, there's the canvas painted. I put on latex gloves whenever I use spray paint or any kind of adhesive glue. And I take the diamond painting outside and you'll see I point to the back of the canvas. I spray the fast grab tacky glue on the back of the canvas. And I sprayed a pretty liberal coat of it on there. And when I come back in and I lay it down, I literally just eyeball it. I don't measure anything as far as it's one inch from this side, one inch from that side. And I apologize again for my arm being in the frame. You're going to see in a second. Okay. I think I did a pretty good job eyeballing it. Now, I take the Mod Podge roller and I roll over it again to really make sure that it's adhered to the canvas. And you're going to see that I flip it over because an artist's canvas is hollow on the back. You know what I mean? It's open. So to make sure that diamond painting is really, really adhered, I sit here and I just roll all over it and you can do it as many times as you need to. That canvas, is, the diamond painting is not coming off the canvas. Peel off the gloves. And if you can see, there is still a black line around the edge. So I decided to cover that line with washi tape. And I've had the diamond painting 
this canvas and all of that up on a shelf for the past two days and the washi tape has not come off. And I use the same process as I do with when I put a diamond painting in a portfolio. Meaning I will, what's nice about washi tape is that you can also peel it up initially if you make a mistake and don't have it lined up perfectly. So you will see that I overlap the washi tape and you're gonna see why. Because I have a way of scoring it and cutting off the excess where it makes a perfect line. So you're gonna see me just lay the washi tape down on all four sides. I can probably speed this up a little bit. See how I overlapped it on the left hand side? You're gonna see why as soon as I'm done. So let me speed this up just a little bit. I do all four sides. Now it is time to cut off those edges. See all those overlapping edges? I use a box cutter and what I do is I will score it. Now, don't score it. I tried to get in closer so you could really see. Don't score it too much because you don't want to cut into the canvas. You will learn how far to go down. And this very first cut, I don't go down far enough. You're going to see me. I have to wind up cutting it again. But as soon as I get these first two cut, I will speed up a little bit. And you'll, you'll see me do all four sides. We don't really need to see that in real time. Once you see, so I cut one side and then I will cut the other and I pressed it down just to make sure it's really, really stuck. And then I just pull it to the side and it pulls off. So I go ahead and I do all four sides like that. And we can speed this up a little bit. And this is the last step because after this I'm done. I, for my first attempt, I think this turned out really, really fantastic. So yeah, that was it. That was, this is the final product. I posted it on Instagram. I think it turned out really, really good. And I pressed down another spot right there and the tape has stayed. It has not come up. So this was very, very inexpensive, meaning $15 total, I think, between the canvas and the paint, if that. So as always, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.